When you're making a fantasy map, how do you draw the land? How do you draw that land mass? How do you get a nice engaging land mass? Well, my name is Wes Jones, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you go about making that engaging land mass. Because really, it's one of the most important steps when making a fantasy map. We're going to do this in three steps. So what am I doing right now? I'm doing step number one. Let's write this out. Step one. So I'm drawing a series of thumbnails. I'm doing it with a really big pen so that I can't get lost in the details. This step is all about finding the right shape for your landmass. And I recommend doing many of these and trying to vary them up as much as possible. What you're trying to do here is find something that works really well and is engaging and different than anything you've seen before. Well, do any of these work? I can take a quick look at these and we can play with one of those. You know what? I'm going to choose this one right here. That'll lead into step number two. So select, I'm going to select this one right here. And we're going to copy that. We're going to paste it on a new layer. Let me turn off those other ones. And let's move that over to the center. And we will expand that so that it takes up more of the screen. And that's what we're going to start with. Apply that transformation. Get rid of the selection. And this is going to be step What is step number two? Step number two is starting to refine that shape a little bit more. Not going as far as the details quite yet, but refining this. Let's turn that off and for this layer, let's push it quite far into the background. You can choose a smaller pen size now and go back maybe to that 30. Let's make this a little bit lighter. Make a new layer. And so what you want to do here is you don't want to necessarily trace it. You're getting an idea of what your land looks like by that shape that you thought was engaging. Maybe I'll extend that a little bit down there. Maybe there's a little bit of a kink over there. Turn off the background. You can see it's not that's not a bad looking island. It's kind of interesting. At this point, I actually might consider drawing some of the larger islands that I think might accompany this. Let's draw some islands over here and we'll do these in better detail in a minute. And maybe one way down here. That's generally what this land's going to look like. Let's move on to step three. Step three is refining this. Again, I'm going to push this into the background. I can turn off that step three and make a new layer. You might push this in the back a little bit further. I like, as you can tell, pushing it back a fair amount. It just needs to be a guide. I like starting with the main island first. And this is where you want to know what your pen size is going to be, because this is getting close to the final drawing for this island. But let's add a little, few more zigs and zags in this to give this a little bit more character. And I really like that kind of straight, so I'm going to exaggerate that even more. Go down to the bottom. I might start over on the top side. I liked that round side versus that little bit more detail side. But I might just add a little bit more information down here. Let's finish those islands. That one's pretty good. I did like that island chain on this side, and I might even add a couple way out in the distance just to give it a little bit more interest on this side of the map. And I do like that last one at the point down there. Turn off that reference below, and you can see step number three. And there you have it. We've gone from step number one, which is to pick a thumbnail, step number two, which was to enlarge that, and Determine approximately what you want the shape of that land to look like. And then step number three was to add those final details. In closing, 
I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something about how to create a nice looking land. Just a couple other things. I have a website called fantasymapping.com and I also have a book on how to draw fantasy maps. You can find the link to that in the description. It's called Fantasy Mapping Drawing Worlds. Well, I had a great time drawing this and I can't wait to see some of your drawings. Thank you. Goodbye.